Before we start our lesson for today, I am inviting all of you to join us in a magical learning experience at home. Enroll now at Vival's Happy Homeschool Program. You can find the details at the description part of this video. Hope to see you there! Just like us humans and animals, plants are also living things that need to reproduce. If not, there will be no more plants around. Hi everyone! Welcome to another episode of our Scientific Friday. I am Teacher Janelle and I'm on a journey again to understand the different things around us. Are you ready to join me for today's lesson? Come on! I've mentioned that plants are also living things that need to reproduce. But how? Today, we are going to learn about the reproductive system of plants. In this topic, we will discover the following. How do plants reproduce? What are the different parts of the plant that aid its reproduction? Plants reproduce in two ways, asexual and sexual reproduction. A plant that reproduces asexually has only one parent involved, meaning it is easier and faster to reproduce. Parents and offsprings are identical, thus it won't have varied appearances in color, height, and shape. An example of a plant that undergoes asexual reproduction is moss. If you have an aquarium, pond, or any moist environment nearby, you will see mosses grow fast and easy because of spores. Spores are the reproductive part of plants that asexually reproduce. When they mature, they fall to the ground and grow into new plants. Today, we will focus on the sexual reproduction of plants. Just like humans and animals, plants reproduce sexually through the male and female reproductive parts in their flowers. What are these? Come on and let's get ready to learn about them. Look at this hibiscus flower, also known as gumamela, here in the Philippines. Through this, we will get to see and differentiate the male and female reproductive parts of a plant. The male reproductive part is called stamen. It consists of filament and anther which contains the pollen grains. The female reproductive part is called pistil. It consists of stigma, style, and ovary which contains one or multiple ovules. So, when do we see a newly reproduced plant? Let's discover the different stages together. The first stage is pollination. Pollination is a process when pollen grains transfer from anther to the stigma of a flower. Pollination can be in two ways self-pollination and cross-pollination. Self-pollination happens when pollen is transferred from the anther to the stigma of the same flower or of another flower in the same plant. Cross-pollination happens when a pollen is transferred from the anther to the stigma of a flower in another plant. But, the same kind of plant. Cross-pollination from one plant to another plant of the same kind happens because of these important pollination agents such as birds, butterflies, and bees. The second stage is fertilization. 
It happens when the male gamete meets the female gamete inside the ovule. But how do they meet? Through pollination. When fertilization occurs, the fertilized ovule becomes a seed and the ovary which holds the ovules becomes a fruit. Oh, this is why the fruits we eat have seeds and we call them, right, ovules. But hep, we have seen the fruit, but where's the newly reproduced plant? Here is our third and last stage, germination. The ovule that becomes a seed will have to mature and get a hold on the ground. And so, these seeds planted on the ground will grow into a new plant. Yay! Do you still remember the different stages of plant sexual reproduction? Let's review. The first stage is called The stage where the male and female gametes meet is called And the third stage is called Did you get your answers right? Great! Learning about the reproduction of plants will help us understand that plants and animals are connected to each other. Through pollination agents like birds, butterflies, and bees, pollination occurs and can fertilize the plants and in time germinate and mature into another plant. Life is amazing, right? Before we end our lesson for today, I am inviting you again to join us in a magical learning experience at home. Enroll now at Vibal's Happy Homeschool program. You can find the details at the description part of this video. Hope to see you there! I hope you enjoyed our discovery today and may it inspire you to become plant caretakers in the future. Join me again for our next Scientific Friday and together, let us discover things around us because science is everywhere. This has been Teacher Janelle for Teacher Vibal. Goodbye everyone!